Okay. I believe I have been learning. Maybe I have learned this in the past, but probably slipped my mind, I guess. So perhaps I can say I am remembering what I have learned. <laughs> I think sometimes it is best to close our mouths. And you may say to me, Kevin, what are you talking about? Okay, give me time. I think some people are not willing to accept they are wrong. You can have evidence. You can use very good logic. I think some people are not willing to accept they are wrong. Let's say you have evidence of my guilt. Let's say you have emails, texts, uh, a voice recording, Let's say you have all of that and I tell you, I am innocent. <laughs> you have all of that. <laughs> you have all of that evidence, but I am denying guilt. What can you do? Will you still try to prove your point to me. Okay, what if I bring up a distraction? I bring up something you may have done wrong in the past. Why are you on me when you used to do this and that in the past? And let's say you prove me wrong in that, then I bring up another situation and another situation. And I'm talking over here and over there. What is happening? I believe it is bringing confusion. First, the topic was my guilt but I got the heat off of me, I guess I can say, and got you defending. Now the conversation is all over the place. Confusion, anger probably, and probably some more mess. Are you still going to try to prove your point. Let's say we are yelling and arguing, cursing, telling each other you are going to hell. Are you still going to try to prove your point? I am a person, let's say, for an example, let's say I am a person that is a guilt denier. Why waste your time trying to prove your point of my guilt if I am not willing to accept it? Let me say something. I believe the more people I help, I think the more I learn about people. I think many people get hurt in some type of way in their childhood, I believe. I am telling you. Okay. I think some people have not gotten over what happened in their childhood. I am trying to tell you, I believe some people 
have not gotten over what happened in their childhood. And I guess that pain or whatever may have developed into this and into that and this thing and that thing to where I believe many people minds are not too well, which I am not trying to make fun of anyone. So if my mind isn't too well, what good is evidence? Kevin, I got this evidence on you. I got this evidence. I got this evidence. What do you have to say for yourself? I am innocent. What good is evidence if I am suffering from mind issues? Please tell me. What if I have low self-esteem? What if I have a thing to where I feel like people are always picking on me you know, I am the victim and the people just want to look down on me and hurt me. So I'm going to deny everything because I don't want to take responsibility because my father wasn't there. My mother wasn't there. I am looking through the eyes of my pain. So I did wrong, but I am not going to own up to it because I am in pain. Man, do you understand what I am trying to tell you? If you are dealing with a person like that, what good is evidence? What, what good is a voice recording? What good is common sense? What should you do in situations like that? Close your mouth. Close your mouth, right? Because if you open your mouth, oh no, 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 you did it, you did it. What is going to happen? Probably confusion. Probably yelling, arguing, fighting. And Close your mouth. Pray for that person, huh? Let me stop here. God bless you.